So now that we have established the definition of a conservative vector field and looked at how to find a potential function for a conservative vector field, we are officially ready for the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So to begin, we want to let f be a continuous vector field on some open region r in r2, or in d in r3, or in rn. Then there exists a potential function phi such that the vector field is equal to the gradient of phi when the integral over c of our vector field dotted with that unit tangent vector with respect to the arc length, and we know we can convert this to the integral over c of that vector field dotted with the differential d vector r, and by the fundamental theorem of line integrals, this is simply equal to the difference of the endpoints. We have phi of b minus 5 of a, and this is for all points a and b in this region, r, in r2 or r3, and for all smooth-oriented curves c from a to b. So I put a cute proof for our fundamental theorem of line integrals in the lecture notes. If you're curious, hopefully you are curious, take a peek. So what exactly is this fundamental theorem telling us? So let's think about our interpretation of this theorem. So we have that if vector f is a conservative vector field, such that we can define vector f as the gradient of our potential function phi, then the value of the integral depends only on the endpoints. So in other words, this is telling us that the line integral is path independent. So the value of the integral of a conservative vector field depends only on its endpoints meaning that it is path independent. And so you may be thinking to yourself, didn't we already have, or didn't we already see a fundamental theorem of calculus back in Calc 1? And you're absolutely correct, and they're connected here. So if we think of phi as the antiderivative of the vector field f, then the parallel to the original fundamental theorem of calculus is clear. So let's recall the fundamental theorem of calculus that we see back in Calc 1. We know that if we have the integral from a to b of the derivative of a function with respect to x, we end up with the antiderivative, and we can now evaluate this antiderivative between its endpoints, which gives us f of b minus f of a. So relating this to the fundamental theorem of line integrals, we see that parallel. So with the fundamental theorem of line integrals, we have the integral over c of the gradient of our potential function phi, or the vector field f, that conservative vector field f, dotted with the differential with respect to that parametrized curve dr. And what we end up with here is that potential function with respect to that parametrized curve r, and we want to now evaluate this between its endpoints, giving us phi of b, minus phi of a. So again, what we're seeing here is that the line integral of a conservative vector field is path independent. Or in other words, it's just the difference of its endpoints.